Hi everyone, Happy New Year! Today's video is going to be a vlog. I decided to do a vlog today because with everything going on over the holidays, I didn't really have time to record a proper millennial rant fan video, so I thought a vlog would be a, a nice thing to uh, post in between. Anyways, like I said, there was a lot going on over the holidays because you know it was Christmas, but it was also my birthday, which was on December 29. So I just wanted to show you some of the presents that I got for Christmas and show you a little bit of what I did for my birthday. And after that, we're gonna talk about some things about 2020, things that I enjoyed and things that I hated. So let's start with the things I got for Christmas. First off is this book, uh, Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Basically, I only got things that I put on a wish list. I really, I really get triggered when I get gifts that I have no use for. So basically, I just set up a wish list so people would know what I wanted. So this was one of the gifts that I got. Uh, I haven't read any of Gillian Flynn's books before. I had tried to read Gone Girl, but when I ordered it from Amazon, it got stolen. So I never got to read it, but I have seen the movie Gone Girl, and I'm currently watching Utopia on Amazon Prime, which is a show created by Gillian Flynn. So I'm really excited to read this. I actually already started it, and it's pretty good. Another thing that I got was this book, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Uh, I like John Green's book. Some of them are kind of are not that great, but you know, some of them are really, really good. Uh, I also got this little wallet and I got, what else? I got a milk frother to make lattes and a cake stand, a rotating cake stand so that when you're decorating cakes, it's easier to frost them because I like to bake a lot. So I make a lot of cakes and stuff like that. And for my birthday, which was a couple of days ago, I really wanted to get out of the city, do something different. I barely ever get to do anything for my birthday since it's so close to the end of the year. By that time, most people have traveled home to be with their families or they're, they have, they're out on vacation. So I rarely ever get to do anything with people. So I was like, who cares? I, want, I still want to do something. So I decided to take a trip down to San Diego or San Diego County and I found a very nice Airbnb in this village called Fallbrook. So first I had to go to Oceanside, you know, to see the beach because it was very close to Fallbrook. And then of course I got to spend the rest of my birthday at the Airbnb because it has a it had a really nice view. It had a deck, you know, to drink wine, eat cake, have a tea party. I did get one gift for my birthday and it was this thing. It's just a tripod. <laughs> so you can put your phone here and your camera, I guess. So let's talk about things that I enjoyed about 2020 before I complain about 2020. I really cherish the fact that even though it was quarantine, I still had the opportunity to go out not right away you know not when the quarantine started but like closer to, to november people started to you know open up more to the possibility of gatherings so i got to like see some of my friends and so that was nice because after being quarantined for so long i was it was nice to reconnect with people and i also i'm happy that i still got to go to restaurants even though you know they kept closing them and then reopening and then closing them blah 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 and what else? Ooh, my favorite movie this year. I know some people are gonna be like, what? But it was Eurovision, the story of Fire Saga. I love Will Ferrell's movies, but this one was like, it wasn't only funny, but it was also like moving and the music was amazing. I usually don't care for musicals, but the music in this, in this movie, it's really good. Even though all the songs are like kind of silly and funny, 
it's just good. It's a good movie. I play the soundtrack all the time. And another thing I really enjoyed about this year was starting this channel. I know it's not a huge channel or anything, but I just have a lot of fun planning videos, filming, editing, and then, you know, reading the comments. And it's just fun to connect with other people who are also fans of Iran or millennial Rand fans. What else? Ooh, Halloween. I really enjoyed being able to celebrate Halloween even though there was quarantine. I get to dress up. I dressed up as Yennefer from The Witcher. Toss a coin to your Witcher. And you know, so that was a fun experience because I got to build the costume from scratch. There was a lot of glue involved but and some sewing but it was it was a fun activity all right so now what did i hate it about 2020 well obviously i hated the same thing everybody hated like being quarantined being scared of getting covid the crazy politics politicians blah blah blah, blah. but personally what i found most offensive and triggering was that I had to cancel a trip. I have never been outside of the American continent. You know, I've only traveled here within the United States and in Mexico, but I've never been to Europe or, you know, outside of the continent. And I've always had a dream that I wanted my first trip out of the American continent to be to you, to um, Ireland because I really like the Irish aesthetic. So finally I had saved enough money to plan a trip to Ireland and I was supposed to travel in like March 17. That's when I was supposed to travel. I was supposed to go to Ireland, then Scotland, then, then London. It was a, a week long trip a little bit longer than a week and you know I had so many plans wanted to go see the cliffs of Moher and go see castles but of course like one week before my trip they did the the travel van to Ireland and the UK so of course I wasn't able to travel and I had already booked everything I had booked the, all the the flights, all the hotel states, a bunch of activities. So it was a crazy situation to have to email everybody and be like, oh, can I, can I please get a refund? And most things I got refunded, but some things I didn't and I haven't received the money from the flights, which is what is more expensive. And they have saved the money as like future credit, but I don't even know if any trips are gonna happen anytime soon because of the way things are. But I, that was really disappointing because I've been waiting for so long and I finally had some savings to go and I couldn't. So I was really bummed out for a long time. <sighs> Hopefully I get to go soon <laughs> before I use up all my savings. You know what, it's very quiet here, which means my cat's not out of the room. Usually if my cat is in the room and I take out my camera and I start recording, he will start running around the room i don't know what it is about me when i start recording it's like he gets personally offended and i have to kick him out of the room otherwise he'll start playing with the cable of the microphone and just ruin ruin everything but the one who is here in the room is dexter and he's just being a little sweetie because he is perfect he will never ruin anything in the world Dexter. Anyways, that was it for this vlog. I really hope that this year turns out to be, you know, a much more positive experience for you than 2020 was. And yeah, there will be a few more videos coming up soon. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.